Heavenly Father, they have heard that you, Lord, are among these people, that you, Lord, are seen face to face, and your cloud stands above them, and you go before them in a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Now, if you kill these people as one man, then the nations which have heard of your fame will speak, saying, Because the Lord was not able to bring this people to the land that he swore to give them, therefore he killed them in the wilderness. And now I pray, let the power of my Lord be great, just as you have spoken, saying, The Lord is long-suffering and abundant in mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgressions. But he by no means clears the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation. Pardon the iniquity of this people, I pray, according to the greatness of your mercy, just as you have forgiven this people from Egypt even unto now. For we have been consumed by your anger, and by your wrath we are terrified. For he who sits in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall hold them in derision. Then he shall speak to them in his wrath, and distress them in his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your countenance. For your eyes are on all our ways. They are not hidden from your face, nor is our iniquity hidden from your eyes. Lord, you will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. There is no creature hidden from your sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him whom we must give account. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You, Lord, search the heart. You test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doings. A glorious high throne from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary, O Lord, the hope of Israel. All who forsake you shall be ashamed. Help us to remember that we were once in darkness, but now we are light in the Lord. Teach us to walk as children of the light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Finding out what is acceptable to the Lord, have no fellowship with their unfruitful words of darkness, but rather expose them. For it is even shameful to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light, for whatever makes manifest is light. Therefore he says, Awake, you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Merciful Lord, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. Indeed, they say to me, Where is the word of the Lord? Let it come now. As for me, I have not hurried away from being a shepherd who follows you, nor have I desired the woeful day. You know what came out of my lips. It was right there before you. Do not be a terror to me, you are my hope in the day of doom. We will not judge anything before the time until the Lord comes, who will both bring to light the hidden things of darkness and reveal the counsels of the hearts. Then each one's praise will come from God, for there is nothing covered that will not be revealed and hidden that will not be made known. Lord, your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. In your mighty and merciful name, Lord Jesus. Amen. <laughs>